Hi, this is Nick with Team Associated. We're here at the Oakley headquarters in Lake Forest, California, and we're going to show you how to use the new factory team adjustable clutch for the RC8 V3.1 and RC8 T3.1 and other nitro vehicles as well. The cool thing about this clutch is that it can be adjusted in the car and there's also marks that are visible while in the car as well. You'll notice four reference lines on the flywheel. The recommended starting position is on the second line. This is similar to the stock setup standard four shoe clutch. Making the clutch tighter is similar to stiffer clutch springs. Making the clutch looser is similar to softer clutch springs. So after running a little bit, we're gonna add some tension to the clutch. To add tension, turn the adjustment set screw clockwise. You'll notice with the increased tension that the clutch engages at a higher RPM. This is better for high traction tracks. Now we are going to set the clutch to maximum tension. With the clutch set to maximum tension, you'll hear a large difference in sound. This is because the clutch is engaging at a much higher RPM. This makes it more difficult to clear the jumps and also harder to drive on low traction tracks. This setting is best used on tracks with high grip surfaces. Now we will set the clutch to the minimum tension by turning the adjustment set screw counterclockwise. With the clutch set to minimum tension, the clutch will engage at a lot lower RPM. This is good for tracks with low grip or bumpy surfaces. With all these adjustments, it's important to find the setting that works properly for you. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. We'll see you next time.